Okay, the first horse is just now starting to make their way onto the track. We will be with you with the post parade and meet the horses in just a moment, and I understand we are ready now. So once again, let's go to Jean Desertel and meet the horses in this year's Prix de Tay. Les emblèmes pour la septième course s'amènent en piste for the Pacers for the seventh race are now entering the track. La finale du Prix d'été 1982, the 1982 Prix d'été finale. Le numéro 1, number one, Merger. Sa dernière victoire en 1.53 Syracuse en fait l'un des favoris de cette finale. The Albatross Sun is trained and driven by John Campbell and is one of the top contenders in this Prix d'été. Mesdames et Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, le numéro 1, number one, Merger, est John Campbell. Le numéro 1A, number one, est Mackenzie Almarst. Le fils de Beijing's Bunny, propriété de Five Guys and Me de Westbury, New York, compte déjà plus de 500 000 dollars en bourse en 1982. He will have Billy Alton in the bike this afternoon, who is at his 12th participation to the Prix d'été. Mesdames et Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, le 1A, number one, est Mackenzie Halmerst et Billy Alton. Le numéro 2, number two, Cam Fella. Un excellent rejeton de Moe Stappy Fella, qui a déjà un compte en banque de 528 dollars en 1982. He is owned by Mr. N. and L. Clements of Willowdale and Ann Faulkner of Southville, Ontario. Mesdames et Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, le numéro 2, number 2, Cam Fella et Pat Krell. Le numéro 3, number 3, Bo Scott Blue Chip. Les propriétaires, Arthur Klein et John McNamara, ont versé les 20 000 dollars pour le rendre éligible à la grande classique. The most happy fellow son has already earned $219,792 in 1982 with a record of 6-4-0 in 16 starts. Mesdames et Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, le numéro 3, number 3, Bo Scott Blue Chip et Catello Manzi. Le numéro 4, number 4, Ambro Aussie. Il est la fierté de la ferme Locksmont de Wrightsville, en Pennsylvanie. Il compte une victoire en 1,56 et 1 à la piste de Buffalo. He has already earned $130,680 in first money. Mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, le numéro 4, number 4, Ambro Hossi et Glenn Garnsey. Le numéro 5, number 5, Ambro Acton. Le fils de Horton Hanover n'a pas couru à l'âge de 2 ans et en est donc à sa première année de compétition. Il compte déjà 8 victoires en 17 départs à vie. He is one of the Canadian representatives uh, being owned uh, by Mr. Bruno Kamigna of Burlington, Ontario. He is driven and trained uh, by Gart Gordon. Mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, the psych number five, uh, Ambro Acton et Gart Gordon. Le six, number six, is Kairos Lobel. Le protégé du champion mondial Hervé Fillion compte déjà une brillante victoire dans le Battle of Brandy One. Sa fiche par elle, parle par elle-même, 13 victoires en 35 départs à vie et des gains de 591,971 dollars. He will be driven today by the world champion Hervé Fillion and is owned by the American Standard Red Farm. Mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, le 6, number 6, est Kairos Lobel et Hervé Fillion. Number seven, Cole Arbor. Le rejeton de Harvard Dross s'est déjà signalé ici à Bobanitz alors qu'il remportait le prix de l'avenir en 1981. His money earnings are already at $197,960 with a record of 4, 2, and 5 in 17 starts. He is owned by R.P. E. Chilvers and J.M. Johnson from Ontario. Mesdames et Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, le numéro 7, number 7, Cole Arbor et Ron Weppel. Mesdames, Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, votre peloton pour la finale du Prix d'été 1982. Your field for the final day of the Prix d'été 1982. Le départ à 3h43, all time 3.43. Prix d'été final, let's go upstairs to Jean Desertel.
On accent the rhythm, they are picking up speed. It's the Depart, the Rock. It has signed the Depart, the Couture Cancel. On the extreme outside of the city of Couture, the Mackenzie Albers. On the deuce of their third arm row action. Battery of Fort outside for Arbor. Sank of fifth alongside the Will Bowl Scott Blue Chip. Back on CCM now, sixth to Merger. CCM seventh arm row Aussie. He beats the amazing Carrot for Bell. Spreading the field that are the other two On finish for the photo to count the middle. And it's for the bottom of four. On Franchi. On face, that's it, Jack. One P, seven and four. At the quarter mark. On face, on top. The arm row action. And it's the yet outside challenging the Tensi on Mars. One P, and third chance, fella. At the young fourth post, Scott Blue Chip. Nine P, and fifth outside. The merger. Alongside the middle, after two, Paul Arbor. The carries for Bell, two wide. And at the middle, arm row RC. On finish for the photo to be made. Heading for the asphalt ball, on tape on top, at the middle, and I could see Mackenzie Albert, Saint Nazi Sierra Demi, 56 and 1, at the asphalt ball, Mackenzie Albert, Alex Sierra outside, Cam Fella is challenging and on top, Cam Fella up in his box, Lucian second, Mackenzie Albert, the Watson third outside, I'm relaxing, Matt Mockery and now fourth, both got blue chip, at the middle, see Cole Arbor, CCM six outside the merger, at the middle of Rowaki, the Alex Fiori Carras for Bell, on a flashy photo to Tuan Dan de Mille, two straight back for Tuan Dan de Mille, 145 flat at the three quarter mark, and let's watch that Billy Timer, Surveille Vienna for the bank, on the April 15, coming down to the wire, what a race, get good, and I can see the young man, at the middle of Tuan Dan de Mille, Lucien second on the extreme outside merger. I'm relaxing. And it's the young Duke of Fair Carris for Bell, the winner of the 1982 British Day, the Baker Campella. He's what he is. by Cam Fellow. We began our program today by showing you some of his other exploits in Canada this year. The Queen City of Toronto, the Confederation Cup at Flamboro Downs, and now he comes to Blue Bonnets for the 16th Prix de Tay at Earl Really No Contest. At the end of it, it was all over. Right from the head of the stretch, Pat Crow hit the wheel a couple times with his whip, and Cam Fella, in horse racing jargon, literally jogged. He just drew away at the end. Some real confusion here in the middle uh, of the pack uh, among the horses going for second and third, Earl. As you can see, that was Merger, uh, the sign of a tired horse as he just uh, went on the gallop there and caused some real confusion. Right, Ronnie Wables and Hervé feel in here in a photo finish with Cole Harbour and Icarus Lobel for the play spot, but it was Cam Fella at the wire. We'll have to wait on the photo. Was he not a supplemental entry to the Prix de Tay, Cam Fella? I believe he was. He wasn't originally nominated for the race, but he deserved to be in it. So obviously money well spent then. Very, very true. 20,000 for 377. And a look now at Cam Fella with trainer driver Pat Crow being paraded back to the winner's circle. Uh, this three-year-old Colts has done a remarkable afternoon's work as we take a look once again at Cam Fella burning it up, sizzling down to the wire. Picked up uh, over 65,000 in that first heat and uh, back here in the second. Second heat, uh, again, getting the lion's share of the uh, purse. So his earnings for the year now go close to $700,000. About $130,000 of that picked up here this afternoon. So as we say, that's supplemental payment money well spent indeed. In perfect stride as he reaches at the wire. And as you say, Pat Crow, no urging other than a couple of slaps at the side of the bike. That's right. Before this final heat, uh, Doug, we talked to Pat Crow. You asked him about uh, what he thought he would do, and he said he'd take advantage of the number one post position. Uh, Keith Waples had advised him to do that years ago. Mackenzie Elmerhurst in his elimination earlier this afternoon was not particularly impressive. Uh, uh, Billy Houghton that time had him out and going much sooner in the race. Were you surprised that he didn't hang on? Well, I was kind of surprised that Cam Fellow would buy him with the ease. Uh, he didn't seem to have any battle in him at all on the backstretch there, but of course Cam Fellow's a great horse too, but 
Uh, McKenzie just couldn't seem to go with him at all today, and I guess faded quite badly at the end. Earl, a strange year for the three-year-olds. There has been no albatross. There has been no Brad Hanover. In other words, a horse that can dominate week in, week out. Uh, is Cam Fella going to be that kind of horse from here on in, do you think? Does he show that kind of capability? Well, he shows that kind of capability, Doug, but unfortunately, the horse is not in the little brown jug. They can, again, supplement him to the messenger stake, but uh, it'll be tough for him to get enough starts against these other colts. He, he's probably not eligible at Lexington either, and you have to start in those big races week after week and beat them week after week in order to get the votes. But, boy, he'll get my vote after today. <laughs> he may get mine as well. We'll be back with more from the pre de at Blue Bonnets in Montreal after we take time out for these commercial messages. We are back at Blue Bonnets Raceway in Montreal. The 16th edition of the Prix de Tay is now history. Just a remarkable performance here this afternoon by Pat Pro and Cam Fella, starting with a superb mile as they won their division to qualify for the Prix de Tay final, and then just a remarkable performance in the final as he paced a mile of 155 and a fifth, uh, a time all the more spectacular, I would say, today because of the gusty winds here at Blue Bonnets. That has to affect a horse, particularly going through those long back stretches and again racing for home so just a remarkable performance by cam fella a mile in 155 and one now that is short of the track and free to tell record of 153 and change set by niatros a couple of years ago but niatros didn't have to face these weather conditions that day at earl lennox come on back in uh, you were over to talk to pat crow the winning driver he's obviously got to be pretty happy right now i would think very elated, and so are the owners, Norm Faulkner from Uxbridge and Norm Clements from Willowdale. And uh, when they get the pictures done in the winner's circle, we're going to have them over here for an interview, I hope. What plans do they have for the Colt beyond here? He's not eligible for the jug, as you said. Well, I'm not just sure where they can go. They just have to pick their spots from now on for the rest of the season. They can supplement him to the messenger stake at Roosevelt later in the fall. And, uh, of course, if he could win that race, that's two of the three legs of the U.S. pacing Triple Crown now that he's won the Canadian Triple Crown. So I think it would be awfully hard to uh, ignore a horse with that much ability. Earl, I mentioned the winning time of 155 and 1 being short of Niatros's all-time pre de record of 153 and change. But, uh, boy, we had some wind here this afternoon and a remarkable mile in light of that, I would think. Yes, it's very windy and extremely cold, too. The uh, day that Niatros went 153 Four here. It was a beautiful day, no wind and sunny. Of course, Cam Pellet is a great horse, but I'm not yet ready to make him a Niatron. Okay, what are we going to do now? We'll take a look at the payoffs, and there you see him. Cam Fella returning $4.20 to win, $3.50 to show, $3.50 to place. The number two entry, $8.80 to show, $4.50 to place, and the number three horse, $8.40.